y'all good morning so it's um hi oh he was just doing something really cute <laughs> so it's um wednesday it's wednesday me and hutchie are chilling i'm home i'm working from home actually today and probably today only i think they felt bad that i was the only one that wasn't able to work from home so they're like if you want to work from home tomorrow you can so i was like okay great so I have some stuff to do. Um, currently drinking coffee. It's already, I've been up since like 7.30, but it's already 9.30. I'm on still my first cup of coffee. I didn't make it until like 8.45 and I'm just a slow drinker. I just caught up on Leanne vlogs. Um, I really love her vlogs. So I watched her newest one with their... They're like redoing their garage. They should do a new house and they're adding like the epoxy to their garage floor. So that's happening. Um, and yeah, I'm about to make something to eat. I'm so hungry, which is odd because usually at work I don't eat breakfast that often. Or yeah, like that often. So I don't know, just being at home is making me hungry. But I do have eggs, so I'm probably going to make some eggs. I might make some toast because I have some sourdough and maybe some of those chicken sausage links that I have from Costco. So that is the plan. We're just chilling. Hutch is being a snuggle bug, which he always is. Always. <gasps> Are you biting me? It's not a nice. So anyways, we're just hanging out. But yeah, this is going to be like a work from home with me for one day. <laughs> Um, for those of you that are curious, I work in uh, construction, so it is considered essential, at least where I live. Um, so most people are still going to, into the office. Well, probably about half. I would say half are working from home. The other half are coming in. This week, actually, more people have come back, which I don't really understand. Um, I guess they're just bored at home and like, not really a great excuse, but maybe they need to be in the office. I don't know. But anyways, that's what's going on with me. Um, and yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to do a little vlog, a different type, type of vlog where I'm actually at home and at what I eat in a day versus being on the road, which I usually am always in the car vlogging or, you know, getting clips at work and stuff. So I thought this might be a little more interesting. So yay for that. Stop biting me. That's rude. Why are you so rude? Why are you so rude? Why? Say why? Anyways, okay. Well, that is my update. I'm gonna go make breakfast. I'll show you guys what it looks like. And we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> okay, y'all, so I actually decided on an omelet. So I just have two eggs in here heating up. Um, I've got some spinach right here, one slice of the cheese that I bought at Target, and then some cherry tomatoes. I know these look weird, but they're like, I don't know. Just ignore them. They're fine. They're fresh. I just got them not that long ago. So anyways, working on the omelet right now. Might put a lid on it and then we're going to stuff it with all sorts of goodness. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my Okay, y'all, so I actually ended up making an omelet. This just, like, as you saw, spinach, tomatoes, cheese, um, two eggs, salt, pepper, and then two of those chicken sausage links from Costco. Okay, so I'm headed to Morgan's house. It's 11.55. Just gonna check on Chance, the puppy, get him all situated, and then I'm gonna go back home. This is, like, my typical lunch break hour. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I am gonna make an iced coffee, I think, when I get home, but we're gonna try something new. Have y'all seen the fad of, like, the whipped coffee situation? I don't know if y'all are on TikTok, but me and Morgan are obsessed with TikTok, and it has been everywhere. Um, and I have instant coffee, so we're gonna give it a go, and I will let you guys know what I think. I've heard very mixed reviews about it, um... Some people say it's like the best and some are like, this tastes disgusting. I don't know how anyone drinks this. And they say it's very bitter, but I don't know. The instant coffee, like 
the recipe. Oh, dang it. My sports bra is on inside out. And the tag is hanging out. Um, the recipe is like two tablespoons instant coffee, two tablespoons sugar. So it's equal parts sugar and coffee. And then water. Two tablespoons of like boiling water or hot water. And then you literally whisk that for like five minutes until it's like a fluff. And then you uh, you like dump it over ice with like milk or whatever. You can use like whatever type of milk you have. I have almond milk, so that's what I'm gonna use. And then it looks really pretty. And then from there you like mix it all together. And then it's no longer an ombre effect. But yeah, some people say it's not good. So I'm just interested to see how it goes. It looks awesome though. And I'm excited to try it. And I finally like, I always want to try it after work, but I don't need a nice coffee when I get off of work. I'm just going to be up all night. So today is the perfect day so I can continue to be productive. I, okay, let me just have a little story time quickly. So I accidentally deleted something inside of iMovie, which is the, it's what I use to edit my YouTube videos. And it like, I, I basically deleted it off my computer and then didn't have enough room to re-download it or to open it so it just like wouldn't work so then I had to go through delete everything <clears throat> which is weird because it was even saying that iMovie was still what was taking up most of my space I don't know I was just having an argument with my computer over the weekend so I ended up deleting a ton of stuff finally got it to where it has like 80 something gigabytes of stuff did all of the updates that I've been avoiding and then I ended up buying Filmora, which is like an editing software that a few of my friends have um, recommend, recommended. <clears throat> God, like something in my throat. So yeah, a few of my friends recommended it and they were like, once you get used to it, you're gonna love it. Like there's so many options, blah, blah, blah. So I got, I got it. It was like $70 for the lifetime, whatever. So that's the one I bought. And it is really cool, but it's very... I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm trying to get this video up and I'm frustrated that it's taking me so long to edit because it's just, a, it's totally new to me. Um, but oh my gosh, it's driving me nuts. So I think what I might do when I get back, I should have started it before I left so it would be downloaded. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and re-download iMovie now that I have room to download it. I'm going to be myself or I could be someone Okay, y'all, so I got a little carried away trying to get a good photo of it, but it still has sort of an ombre effect. It's so pretty. I'm sure I'll insert one of the pretty pictures of it here. Um, a lot of people were saying that this part didn't taste good to them, but honestly, I think it tastes great. It just tastes like a strong coffee with a little bit of sweetness. I really like it. It definitely, I wouldn't like drink the foam by itself, but mixed, let's see, with the almond milk. I'm gonna try it. I haven't tried it yet. How annoying is this sound? I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Give it a taste. It's pretty good. I can feel like I could have done a little less milk. Yeah. I think, um, like I said, I could definitely do less um, milk. I was even worried I did not enough, but it's really good. I'm a huge fan. So let me know if you try this. I'd love to know your thoughts. I obviously didn't make up this recipe. It's been like all over the internet. I think it came from like a lot of people on TikTok are saying that they are Greek and they've drank this their whole life. So it must be a thing in Greece. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. Okay, y'all, so I put this in at 130 on high, and it's already done. So I cut one open, made sure it's completely cooked through and hot. Delicious. So I went ahead and turned it off just because this crock pot 
uh, does have a lot of power for how tiny it is. So I'm just gonna leave it off with the lid on there for now. It's only four o'clock, but um, I'll probably have dinner around six. So just gonna let it kind of chill here for a little while and I'll turn it back on a little bit before I have dinner. Okay, y'all, of course, right as I film this, my air conditioning has to kick on, so now I've got two things. But I wanted to show you this air purifier that I just got off of Amazon. So it looks like this. They actually sent this to me, and I was so excited. I think I've talked about it here on my channel, but I've had an air purifier in my Amazon cart forever, and it's about $175. Um, I was just kind of waiting to purchase until me and Morgan moved in together. Um, my rent will be cheaper at that point, things like that. So I was waiting, but a company reached out and just wanted to know if I would try theirs or if I wanted to try theirs. And I said, yes, I would love to try it. So that is what I'm currently doing. Um, I'm on like day three and so far loving it. Hutch is very interested in this sound, but it does have a sleep mode, which makes it really quiet. I have mine on two, but you can turn it um, to sleep mode, which is extra quiet. You can't even hear it. Um, I per You can do auto and it'll kind of adjust itself, but I like um, two. Whoops. I like number two. It's just kind of a nice, soft fan sound. Um, and really, when I edit YouTube videos, it's nice for my apartment not to be, like, creepishly quiet. I can't watch anything on TV. I'll get distracted. But this has been a nice little noisemaker as well. Um, but, yeah, it comes with the filter. So, it's one of those, like, HEPA. Do you say HEPA? I don't know. One of those... Um, great filters. I'll put more info about it down below if you want to read about it and then the link for you as well. But these are also 30% um, off right now. So I will put you the 30% off code down below and it takes it from like $170 to only like 118, I believe is the final price. And that is way better than the one that I had originally found on Amazon. I love that it's white. I feel like it's really sleek. It's super easy touch screen to use so far big fan and I'm excited that I'll have that when Morgan and me move in together especially because I have a little kitty uh, it'll just help keep our air a little bit cleaner because both of us do have allergies so overall highly recommend really really love this it does have an app as well I just haven't figured out the app quite yet or like taking the time to look at it. But um, you can also set the timer. There's tons and tons of cool features. So you can read about it on Amazon, but I just wanted to show you that. This is the box. I'm saving the box so I can move it in the original box that came in whenever we move here in a few months. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty compact. It's like right above my knee, if that gives you sort of a, you know, hutch for scale. It's not very big. And I love that it just kind of blends in to the wall. You hardly even notice it's there. It's really quiet. You can tuck it behind, um, you know, something. You don't want anything right here. But I love it. It's been great so far. So anyways, I will um, put all the links for you down below. And then the code, if you do decide to buy it, use the code. Because you will get 30% off. It will be a lot cheaper. Do you agree? Do you agree, Hachi? <laughs> So we're in the bedroom now. I know this is a view that y'all never get to see, but over here with the purse is my closet. This right here is my bathroom. Uh, that's my bedroom door. The bathroom leaks back through this door um, and out there is the kitchen. So anyways, I wanted to show you the humidifier that this company sent me as well. I haven't used a humidifier in a really long time, really since college. I used one, um, used essential oils in it and it like burnt the whole thing up and it was just ruined. So I never uh, bought another one, but this one is by far so much better. It's on sale for 20% right now. So I'll leave that down below. Both the air purifier and this humidifier, um, I believe are on sale through April the 30th. So if you wanna order, just do it before that point so that you can get the discount, but I'll leave all the codes and info in the description box below the video. The cool thing about this though, is again, it has this LED screen with the, um, I'm trying to see if I can get y'all a good view. My room is kind of a disaster. My bed's not made, as you can see. But with the um, LED screen, it does so much. So at night, I don't want to obviously see these numbers. So I just put it on sleep mode. The um, 
humidifier is still working, but the, you know, the LED screen is off. So that is so cool. You can adjust the timer. You can um, adjust how humid you want it. So I like to do about 45%. Um, for me specifically, I have really bad allergies. Y'all already know this and anything above 50% um, humidity, a lot of allergens can thrive in. So I personally do 45, just try to keep it a little bit lower. Um, you can see I'm at 49, really 50 is like a good medium for anybody. Um, that's kind of what they recommend if you look up like humidity levels of whatever. So that is what I keep mine on, but I love that there's a sleep option. Also, it comes with a tiny little remote that you can use, mine's over by the bed, but obsessed with this thing. And what I thought was the coolest part is, so it has this massive, y'all wanna see how big this water tank is? Mine's only up to here, but like big old tank. You don't have to fill it up very often. Let me see if I can get this out. So it has this little tray, and this is for essential oils. So it has this little cotton, cotton pad and you just drop some of your uh, like favorite essential oil blend in there and then you can put it back in and that's a safe way to use essential oils in your <laughs> you can see my pile of clothes i don't want to talk about it whatever this is why y'all never see my bedroom because it's a mess but um you can use essential oils without messing up your humidifier so the um you know mist or whatever comes out up here at the top and you can move these around it comes out of both slots so anyways this thing is so cool i'm obsessed with it love love and i will um put the link down below hey y'all so i am chilling in bed right now actually working on editing this video and i realized i never really said like bye or thanks for watching so i thought i would pop in it's been about two weeks since I filmed that, um, wait, had it been two weeks? No, it's been a week. It's been a week since, oh my gosh, it has been the longest week of life. <laughs> it has been the longest week of life. Anyways, um, yes, it's been a week since the day that all of this was filmed and oh, how life has, life has gotten crazy, you guys. I will fill y'all in in a vlog or chatty something coming up soon, but I just wanted to pop in and say thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you liked this. Um, the whipped coffee is so good. I'm still been enjoying that. On, like I enjoyed it that weekend um, and I'm gonna probably have some more this weekend. Love the whipped coffee. Let me know if you try it. Um, those meatballs are amazing. Me and Morgan are, make, are going to make them again this weekend, I think. Um, they're so good in the crock pot. It's just so, so easy. The lighting keeps changing because my computer, um, let me just log in. My computer light keeps going out, but I feel like this is, I need something on my face. So yeah, life has just been, there's been a lot of changes and it's been very stressful, which is kind of why I was MIA. But quickly, I wanted to mention that my new blog has officially launched I um, was able to acquire the domain louiselane.com, which wasn't originally the plan, but the owner has reached out to me a couple times within the last month, month and a half, and I have turned it down because, I mean, I originally was like, well, I don't really know how much domains cost. I bought mine, uh, I'm louiselane.com for like $18, um, and it's like a monthly, or it's a yearly fee for $18, so it was very, it was a very cheap domain, and he was like, oh, usually they sell for like $1,500, and I was like, lol, no, no, sir, we're not wasting $1,500 on that, I will be, I'm Louise Lane forever, I don't care, um, and anyways, kind of a back and forth, and then eventually, I guess, with all of the virus and pandemic that's happening, uh, he reached out and was like, look, I'm really just trying to get rid of these. Would you consider 150? And I thought, hey, I don't really want somebody else to buy it for 150. Um, so I said, what the heck? Sure, I do want it. And now I have www.louiselane.com and it makes me so happy. So go check that out. I will link it for you down below. All of the recipes that have been on my blog in the past are still there. They just transferred over, super simple. Um, all, you know, there's calories and then smart points for all of my like older 
recipes when I was on Weight Watchers. If I posted the recipe when I was on Weight Watchers, the points are still there. My newer stuff doesn't have points because I'm not currently following that program. Um, I have lots of fun food updates coming for you guys too. A really exciting thing coming to my channel that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Um, but right now I'm focused on the blog and I'm so happy with it. You can, um, if you click the link down below and scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a subscribe option. Um, one email a month from me and it will come with fun, like planning, meal planning printables, um, links to some of my favorite recipes for the month, maybe a little like blurb about what's going on or why this printable is cool or something, but it's not excessive emails. It's really just gonna be one email a month and the first one comes to you the second that you subscribe. <laughs> so if you want to subscribe and get some free printables, definitely just type in your email address, hit like go or enter or whatever, and it should send you one within the first five minutes of signing up. And that has like a monthly planner and then like the typical weekly planner um, which I created. It's the exact style that I use to meal plan every single week. So it's very, you know, tried and true in my life. And if you're a meal prepper, I think that you will love it. But with that being said, we, we're we gonna finish this video and we're gonna go to bed. So good night from me and Hutchie. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for being patient on my channel. I appreciate it. Um, I really didn't expect to have this like break of however many days it's been, probably over a week now um, in video uploads, but life happens. I hope you guys are staying safe and well, and we will see you in the next video. Oh, I was going to pick him up, but he's facing the wrong direction. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. I just want to feel just what I do when I'm out so